Hello everybody, this is Old Grunt. And we are on XCOM. So um last time I had a large UFO. <sighs> Sorry I had to have a drink. I'm I don't know, my throat's really weird today. Uh so last time we had a large UFO. And uh this time we're gonna be um I don't know yet. <laughs> I need to stop saying that because I keep saying that every single episode now. It's a bad habit. I didn't I'll used to do it on your before. The other season. Uh, look at all the alien alloys we've got. There's three thousand dollars right there that we could spend. But nope, it's a key ingredient. You can't sell this. Grr. Right. Um. So anyway, what I want to do is um. Actually, I don't know if we're gonna do it yet. Um, I'm gonna show off something here. We've got a new recruit. We've got Simon May. Um. This is how he looks. I don't know what colour to make him, so I just made him red for now. Just because... I don't know, I, I just kind of want to see another red colour. I just like red. So yeah, um, that's a new recruit. Um, and then, one thing I want to bring up real quick is... Um, last episode I was supposed to put this in the description, and I didn't. And then Caleb reminded me, and I f completely forgot. And then uh, I put it in afterwards. Um, so, um, we're going to name our shiv. And the names we've got for the Shiv are um, Bolton, um, Esteban, um, Sponge, and and Wally. So um, these are the names that you guys have given him. Given him. So um, I want you guys to vote on him. Uh, the names will be in the description as well, so uh, you can see it. Uh, so more people should see it this time since I put it in the description really late last time. And hopefully we can get something done about it. So I think I'm going to go for the officer train school and uh, do the new guy. Even though I don't, I'm just scared to death of getting like three more snipers. But we'll see what we end up with. Hopefully, uh, some of those three that we haven't used will take the bullet and become snipers. Okay, that's not bad. We've got a support and two assaults. I would have liked a heavy. Oh look, there's our heavy there, Sarah Thomas. But yeah, I would have liked another heavy. Or oh, possibly another support. That would have been good. Um, you've changed armors when you shouldn't have. So have you. If I counted the amount of times on screen, <laughs> I've had to change the um, armor decos for people. It would be an extremely high number. Just because of how glitchy this game has been. Right, anyway, let's um, go searching for activity. Hopefully we'll find something nice and easy. I don't feel up to something really big today. Like a terror mission. That'd be terrible for now. But uh, yeah, we've got alien containment, so um, in the next mission we'll probably take the arc throw with us. Ooh, we've got improved pistol as well, so that'll make it more accurate. I think it makes it more accurate. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Difficult. Moderate. You see, we could actually go to Japan and then just put a satellite on Argentina afterwards. But I think we probably should go to Argentina. This will give you a chance um, here to talk about um, some squad changes that I'm going to be doing. Um, now we have like a s decent amount of new recruits, we might actually be able to make um, a fourth squad. Although I'm not sure if... Um, if there'd be four squads, that would be uneven. All of them wouldn't have six, but some of them would. Or if um, I would have to put like the shiv in to one of the squads permanently to uh, make him part of the squad, so that we have a um, full team. I I'm not sure. Um, I haven't worked out in my head yet, but I've got some idea how squad four will look. Um, I know um, squad four will probably uh, include. Um, well, it, it will involve a lot of um, moving people about. Like, uh, like I, I'd probably move some of the snipers about and some of the extra heavies. Like, there's two heavies in Squad 3, which I'd probably move one of the heavies over to um, Squad 4, for example. Um, there'd be enough... Um, I think there's enough medics for us to have a medic in each squad. So that's one thing as well. Uh, I don't know, it depends how the balance is affected, because I've got fairly good balance going on here, with 
how you know the uh, classes of putting to each squad and taking into account everybody's aim and will and stuff. So I don't know. I'd like to make a fourth squad, but I don't know if I'll be one man short or not. Unless I throw myself into one of the squads, but uh, I don't know yet. Anyway, um, John. Uh, oh yeah, I've decided I'm going to be bringing um, Daniel instead of Angry Grandpa. Angry Grandpa is um, he's already a lieutenant and he's um, got a really good aim, while John's aim is fairly is like a quite a bit lower, and he has only he's only a sergeant at the moment, so I could have been ranking him up, which is why I'm not going to bring Angry Grandpa this time. I'm going to bring a rookie so that um, you know we can um, start ranking up the rookies. Get them ready for squad duty. Or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to give James the scat laser and the arc throw because he's a, a assault as well, like Ryan. But yeah, I think. I'm not sure. 78. 70. Maybe I should do it the other way around, but I'm not sure. He's got a higher will, so he'll do better closer in, I think. He won't suddenly panic when he's right next to an enemy. Um. Right, and then we've got our new recruit. We'll set him up the basic way. I thought about getting him a nanofiber vest to improve his health a little bit, but the only problem with doing that is I don't know if his health will go up once he ranks up, so. But yeah. I also gave uh, John a med kit, so. Um, it, it's just so we've got a backup med kit. And because snipers don't generally need grenades, so. Yeah. Plus, uh, John has ha damn good ground. He doesn't have um, the gunslinger ability, so Prepare for deployment, strike one. it'd probably it'd probably be more beneficial for him to be running about um, with his sniper rifle out and getting up entire places than it would be to um, the threat there seems to be the most pressing. to give him um, up a, local a grenade and pistol and stuff. So. A major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any oh, remember a few. Um, Remember about I don't know how many episodes back it was, but where it was like one of the first times the game crashed on me. Um, this is the level where I did awesome grenade throw using Ryan, I think. Like he threw a grenade and he bounced it up, upwards, and it just went like it was over. Yeah, it's this map. Over here, there's a building in the back corner, just here. And um, there was like a thin man that jumped onto the roof, and you couldn't get onto the roof uh, unless you had like a skeleton suit or um, a flying suit. And um, I couldn't reach him, but he had like two more damage on him, and nobody was hitting him. Everybody kept missing him. And uh, what ended up happening was I threw a frag grenade, and it bounced up to like floors. It bounced. Off of this awning, and it bounced up onto this next floor, which had been blown out, and it sort of like bounced and curved around again, and it landed on the roof and hit the Finn Man. But then it crashed afterwards, and I was just like, "Oh, it was so awesome that shot." Uh, sad times. Anyway, let's get John into position here. He's got a squad sight, so he should be fine to be sat here. For, uh, just, uh, Roger, I've got my eyes on. Just gonna move everybody else Heading to that location. best as I can. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Yes, Commander. I've just realized we've got three assaults in this squad. Covering now. At the moment. Like at this moment in time we have. Yes, Commander. Come get some. Getting it done. So his first turn should be fairly simple. Shouldn't run into much. On the move. Roger that. Maybe something will reveal and we'll be able to kill it. So. There's usually something that spawns there though. So I know the map spawns in this level pretty well because there's only a certain amount of them. Well, then again, I could say that for most maps on this game. I've played some of these maps so many times now that I just know all the spawns on the map. So. Rolling. So I'm gonna be sending um, a couple of these guys into the building. Affirmative. Ooh, my video's just finished uploading. Come get some. So they should be good there. John's gonna be 
stick in there, I think. Um, we'll stick woo woo here. Affirmative. Affirmative. Covering now. Kind of wish um, woo woo's aim was a little bit better than it is at the moment. It's a little bit low. Moving out. On Overwatch. Send these guys down the street. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Wait, did I give John his? I don't even know if I've got his laser sniper rifle Overwatch. out for that turn. There's a cyber disc. There's mutons. You can already tell this is about to get fun. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Roger that. Enemies in sight. Look, there's a pair of mutants now. One of them's stuck in an upstairs window. <laughs> this game sometimes. That sounds like floaters. Roger that. Get Keith behind this car so he's not running the Roger risk that. of getting um, flanked. These guys in here. Heading to that location. Hostile spot. Oh, I've revealed some floaters. It beeped for that to happen. But at least they shouldn't be much of a problem for us as much as um, the mutants are going to be. At least I'd hope not. Daniel to move. Move him here. Moving to position. Just for now. Scanning. He's got a long game on him. Uh, Luckily, only did one damage to Keith. That would have been bad if Keith got taken down because nobody else can revive him. For me. That works for me. Um. So I can't put the rocket where I'd like to. Not from this angle, anyway. I can't. Um. Who's got a grenade? All oh, my grenades are over here. Let's blow up these floaters, because why not? And I'm gonna do a rapid fire on this guy, see if I can reveal him or break his head. There we go. So now, John should be able to shoot him. Yep. Please do a lot of damage to him. That's good. I'll have that. Keith, can you finish him? You can. And he's crushing that poor person that's in the green slime. I've got an idea. This will get Daniel his first two kills, I think. Depends, uh, oh no, he can't throw a grenade on his turn as well. That's too bad. Um, well, let's try, try and kill one of these guys then. Kill confirmed. Ten critical. That would have killed a mutant. That's pretty good. Right, 
Alright, let's suppress the mutant. Because the float shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. The mutant's panic like worried as well now. I mean not the mutant, the float was. Okay, just held his position. I didn't expect that. Good to go. Got it covered. Kind of hope that float comes back uh, Daniel's way. Get some nice easy kill. Nice easy kill's always good. I'll have a grenade at Mr. Mutant here. Maybe we can remove some of his cover and make it easier for some of the other guys to take him down. Going out. I actually didn't blow up the cover he's behind. Who I did damage to him. Daniel did a bit of damage to him as well. He didn't like that. Unfortunately, John can't see him from where he is. It'd be nice if we could capture him. Set him up, knock him down. Double time. I'm gonna try and move some of the guys up and try to capture him. Because that'd be really good. Aye, aye. If I chuck down a smoke. Don't know what I'm gonna do exactly with it, but. Okay, the game doesn't want me to throw the smoke. There we go. Clouds away. I was expecting to hear a beep, 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 boom then. Just because normally that's what I'd expect. Let's rock. Have we got anyone else to move? We'll just um, end the turn. Oh, he's running away from us. I want to capture him because then we could get the um, alien grenade. Which would be awesome. Daniel can't really follow him until the next turn because he doesn't have running guns to. I'm on the move. Ryan needs to reload. Ready to engage. Seems most of these guys could do with reloaded. I'm on it, Commander. Reloaded. Should remember that uh, Wu was only got like three shots in his gun, and he has to reload. So, moving to Overwatch. Getting it done. Roger that. Scanning. Uh, we'll just keep Daniel where he is. Put James over here. Here they come. Oh look, some more flowers. Maybe John can take one of them out. He nailed him! And John's ranked up! He's catching up to the squad! It's awesome. Right. I could do with capturing something small as well, like a mutant. I mean, not a mutant. <laughs> something small like a mutant. I mean, like something uh, like a sectoid. So we can get the, la the uh, plasma pistols as well. Kill confirmed. Banjo music. I've never heard that before. Alright, it's running good. Set him up, knock him down. We'll go up to the dumpster. Designated position. Come get some. Cause there's still a floater floating around back there somewhere. And there's still um that mutant, so 
If we can get him, Moving that'd be position. brilliant. Reloading. It'd be brilliant just to kill the floater, but it'd be brilliant to get the um, the uh, mutant captured. Okay. There's still a cyber disc though somewhere. We haven't seen a cyber disc yet. On Overwatch. But we definitely heard it earlier. Overwatch. John's still good to go where aye he is aye. because he's got a pretty clear shot down that street because there's not really any cover besides all the cars. Well, there's the cars, but you know, he's not really anywhere from the enemies to hide. Position. Ten four. So the cyber disc will probably be in this other building here. I imagine it would be in Roger. I've got my eyes on. Newton! No, don't kill him! No way that just happened. Well, we've seen you now, Mr. Muton. Roger that scanning. We know of your existence. Got it covered. Eyes field, Commander. Um I guess could move Keith to there. Solid copy. Because it is in full cover. Full cover is always good cover. You see, you can see the muton. I kind of don't want to shoot the muton because I want to try and capture it, but at the same time, it's quite dangerous to leave it alive. Copy that. Hey, floater. That's that one from earlier. He's down. Let's hunker down so we don't shoot him. There's a side of this book. I thought it was inside that building. Hopefully we'll come outside and not stay in there or go on the roof or something. I'm all right. Got something over here. They're starting to lose ground. I have no idea what that side disc is doing. It seemed pretty funky. We're missing Daniel. Oh, there he is. Could say it wasn't um, letting me switch to it. Position confirmed. Oh, we hit him. Negative. Weapons dry. I always like it when we do those impossible shots through the walls. They're always the funniest type of shots. Yes, Commander. It's too bad we can't critically wound them. And then, like, you could stabilize them and then, like, go and pick them up. Well, Overwatch. It's not exactly what I wanted Overwatch. to happen. Aye, aye. Cyber disc, it's coming outside. It's gonna throw a grenade. Yeah, at this point I think we have to kill him you times because this is gonna get dangerous now. Wow, free damage. Hey, a little help. Okay, suppressing. I'd rather him suppress than actually shoot him. Yeah, that mutant's way too dangerous to leave alive now. We're gonna have to go in for the kill. Getting it done. I don't want to use my shot on uh, the cyber disc just yet. 
So we'll get Daniel a nice easy kill from the hidden little drone. Too bad John can't actually see from here. For some reason. Double time. Oh, it's too bad it missed both shot. It missed one shot. Me. That would have been excellent. Lights like just get rid of that Utah, but I think I made a mistake of not getting rid of him when I should have. Because now Mr. Cyberdisc is here and he's like, What you want, mate? So I don't know. Um, I guess. Um,. I could shoot a rocket at the Mutant, but at the same time I want to save that for the Cyber Disc. But I think if I shoot a rocket, I'm going to get killed anyway. Get out of there. I was kind of hoping the flush would do a bit more than it did. position. No, nah, I won't be able to hit both. It's like one or the other. Right. Let's see how badly this goes. Actually, work could work to our advantage. I'm on it. Over the top it. Uh, not quite. Of hitting him some more. I'll get him next time. Weapons dry. Position confirmed. Come on, hit him. One more damage. That's all I gotta do. Ah, oh, moved him to the wrong spot. It's a good job I have running gun. That hit. I watched that hit. Oh, please hit him. Ugh. Damn it. Missed the target. Okay, I don't know where he's going now. He's wasted both of his moves though. Oh. Watch the sides. I 
do with uh, reviving you. <laughs> so go ahead and do that. <laughs> Everybody needs to reload. It's terrible. Miss the target. Move Ryan slightly so he doesn't get killed by the explosion. X-ray down. Another day, another successful operation. That could have gone so much better. I'm surprised I actually got that one done when we did. <sighs> right, let's see who's ranked up and who's going to be injured for 500 years. Looks like Woo Woo's gonna be in just 500 years. I thought Daniel ranked up, but I don't know why. He didn't. Right, um. I don't know. Because. Uh, I'm not, just not really sure which way to go here. I'll go for battle scanners. <laughs> I've got to remember to keep bringing him in closer instead of just leaving him really far we back. Be in touch, um, right, is there anything I can do now? I don't think I can. Well, look at ladies wanting to interfere with the next squad. Um, is there anything we can sell? No. Uh, I don't really know. Then. I think that's it. What did we get as a reward again? I forgot. To was it scientists? House an alien for interrogation commander. I think we got six scientists as a reward. On the ground. Oh well. Thank you for watching this episode of XCOM, and I'll see you guys next time for some more.